Is your NVIDIA Shield remote not working? Let's fix it with these essential troubleshooting steps. First, ensure your Shield TV is powered on and check your remote's battery. The remote uses CR2032 batteries that may need replacement. To replace the battery, use a pen or similar object to press the small divot and slide out the battery tray from your remote. Next, restart your Shield by unplugging the power cable for 10 to 60 seconds, then plug it back in. This clears temporary connection issues. Bluetooth connectivity is essential. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled in your Shield settings and try toggling it off and on again. If the remote still isn't responding, try repairing it. Go to Shield Accessories and Settings or hold the Home button for 10 seconds to initiate pairing. For a soft reset, simply remove the batteries from your remote, wait a few minutes, then reinsert them. This clears the remote's temporary memory. For a hard reset, try holding the center button and home button simultaneously while reinserting batteries until you hear a beep. Alternatively, hold back and select buttons for 15 seconds, then unplug and replug the shield while holding select until the home screen light flashes. These basic troubleshooting steps resolve most NVIDIA Shield remote issues. Start with power and battery checks, then progress through restarts, Bluetooth settings, and resets as needed. If basic troubleshooting hasn't resolved your remote issues, the next step is ensuring your NVIDIA Shield TV and remote have the latest software updates. Outdated software is a common cause of connectivity problems. If software updates don't solve the problem, a factory reset might be necessary. There are two methods, through the settings menu or using the hardware reset button if you can't access the interface. If you can't access the home screen, use the hardware reset method. Locate the small button above the HDMI port on your Shield TV. Unplug the device, then while holding this button, plug the power back in and continue holding for 5 to 10 seconds until the boot menu appears. While troubleshooting your remote, you can use alternative control methods. Connect a USB keyboard and mouse to your Shield TV, or use the NVIDIA Shield TV app on your smartphone. Make sure your phone is on the same Wi-Fi network as your Shield. If your Shield TV isn't powering on at all, test with a different power cord or HDMI cable. Hardware failures can sometimes cause these issues. If problems persist, contact NVIDIA support for assistance. When purchasing a replacement remote, ensure it's an official NVIDIA product to avoid compatibility issues. Be aware that some users report remotes draining batteries quickly, which may indicate hardware problems.